If you are selling physical products, GrooveCart is the right place to be. Before you create a store, the GrooveCart dashboard shows create a new store, and the sidebar has the same options as the main dashboard of Groove. Click to create a store, choose a subdomain, check if it is available, and create your store. The system will create your store over the next few minutes. Once ready, click admin dashboard on the thumbnail to access all of the settings you need. You are brought to a new tab for this store's dashboard. The first thing shown is stats for your store and the sidebar now has options related to your store. We recommend following the step-by-step -step checklist on the side before anything else. Products is where you will set up your actual products for sale under My Products. Create categories to organize them, add coupons under discounts, and finally, use POD and drop shipping to connect outside platforms. This is possibly the most powerful option in GrooveCart. Using these platforms, you can sell products without the need to store them in a warehouse or produce them yourself. You can start selling in your store right away. Orders is where you will find important statistics about your orders and information about your customers. If you have products that customers can subscribe to, you'll find information about those products here. Under Abandoned Carts, you can track and follow up with leads that have perhaps added a product to their cart but never checked out and purchased. Customers is an area for exactly that, a list of your customers. You can manually add customers in the upper right. And once you have customers, use the Actions menu to view their information and even add notes for your employees to view. The Affiliates area is for managing an affiliate program under GrooveCart, while your Help Desk is the place to create a Help Desk. However, you will need to add a live domain for that first. Clicking Builder will open a new tab for you to customize the appearance of the storefront. The different pages are added and customized using the Pages icon on the left. Any pages you add will be automatically included in the navigation bar. Above Pages are Blocks and Elements. Elements are individual pieces of content on the page, like text and buttons, while Blocks are pre-designed sets of elements that you can drag into the page. Back at your dashboard, you can find a variety of apps to help set up and run your store. Particularly helpful if you already had a store elsewhere are the Shopify migration tool and the CSV product import tool. The designer app is used to create preview images of your products, so you don't need an image editing program. The last option on the sidebar is settings. It is important to review these before going live with your storefront. Store information is where you set all the basic details of your store, from the name and logo, to stock management settings, to the option to disable or entirely delete your store. Before you start selling anything, you will need to integrate a payment gateway here. There are a lot of options, but we recommend a combination of GroovePay and PayPal to cover your bases. You can choose which domain points to the store under Domains, and Shipping is used to add shipping methods and formatting options. Taxes is disabled by default. If you turn it on, you manually add taxes, automatically generate them, or use a tax jar account integration. International settings are where you will find currencies you accept and areas of the world you sell in. If you have a team, you can add employees under Staff Accounts. They will log in through your domain to access the store details. Mail Templates is for confirmation emails set for nearly any action your customer can take. You can edit these to your liking, but the basics are already filled in for you. If you are advertising, you may need to visit Pixels, Feeds, and Embed Codes to add your tracking codes. You'll also find email marketing helpful if you need to export your customer's contacts into an external email marketing service. However, you can also use GrooveMail, which will already have access to these emails. Legal Pages is another essential setting to look over. All of these are automatically generated with the details you entered when creating your store, but you will want to make sure to review and edit the shipping policy and refund policy to match what you are offering in your store. The final page of settings, API, and webhooks is an advanced option for integrating external services and apps. We only recommend using this if you have coding experience. If you get stuck or have any questions, reach out to us here or check out our growing collection of tutorials here.